In this video, we will learn how to pass parameter value in the routing. In real time application, we have to pass some information in the URL. Here, we are using the same application that we have created in this video series. Um, in this application, we have one more module that is public. Now, let's create a public routing module file inside this public folder. So, open the terminal window. Here, write this command ngGM and then public. I want to create this file inside public folder. Then module name will be public routing. I do not want to create parent folder. So I use this option flat and then module public. Press enter. See here we got new file now let's create a new component to this public module so ng gc and then i want to create this new component inside this public folder then component name for public i do not want to create parent folder then press enter see here we have new files um, this new component is added in this public module declarations array <coughs> now let's open this user routing module here copy this routing codes and open this public routing module replace this code with copied code okay now add the necessary inputs Now add the import statement for this routes also. Let's update the path. Path will be public. If the path is public, then we have to call public component. And inside this public folder, we have components. Uh, here we have three components. Okay. So in the path, we have to use all books. If the path is all books, then we have to call all books component. Then if the path is book details, then we have to call this book details component. Now let's open this public module, copy this public module name and open this app module here put the comma in imports array and paste the public module and add the import statement okay whenever you run this application in the url i have to pass the book id if i want to pass the book id in the url then i have to provide the space in the routing so we can do that very easily so here put a forward slash then colon then id now the URL will be public, then book details, then ID. Save the changes. Now open this public component.html file. Here remove this code. Here we will use router outlet. And save the changes. Let's run this application using this command ngsau-o. Now the application is running in the browser, in the URL, navigate to public and then all books, press enter. Here we got the message from all books component. Now I want to see the detail of a single book. So update this URL, book details, then press enter. Choose, right click choose inspect see here we are getting an error um, cannot match any routes okay so in this url we have to provide the book id so public then one and then press enter 
see here we got the message from uh, book details component this is how we can pass the value in the url now go back to vs code editor here in the public routing module along with this book id i want to pass the author id so the url will be author this is odd coded value then colon author id save the changes now we have to pass two dynamic values if you are having colon the name means this part will be replaced with dynamic values now go to the browser here public book details then book id 1 and then author let's say author id 10 11 press enter see here we got the same message from um, book details component okay the length of the url is valid there is no limit in passing the values in the url this is how we can pass multiple values in the url now i want to pass some value in the root level let's see um, how we can do that for that uh, we will use user routing module here by using this user we can open the user component now i want to use this component with user id so in this path forward slash then colon then id this is not the right way to get the user id we are using like this uh, for learning about the concept only Okay, now save the changes in the browser now let's navigate to user add book see here this is not working here we have to pass user id so here let's say one and then now we got the message from um, add book component okay now let's update the url for delete book so this is also works fine okay this um, user id is the base for path for all the child components Okay, if you like this video hit the like button and subscribe to this channel for more videos thanks for watching this